All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, this fighter has read the Marquess of Queensbury rules cover to cover. Truly one of the best boxers we have in the UFC today, and he works everything off of that jab. Oh, yeah, the jab is what got him to the show. He is just a phenomenal boxer, and John, I love you throwing out the Queensbury <laughs> rules in the walkout for this man because he signifies everything that is boxing. He's a guy that loves the sport. He wanted to take boxing on his back and bring it to mixed martial arts and show that it, it is as an effective form of combat as anything else. He said, I'll walk away from an Olympic opportunity to take my sport into the octagon and show that we are the best fighters in the world. And he's done that to this point in the UFC. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than five years apart, some differences in height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Grandmaster. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean super boy, Du Ho Choi. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. All right, single collar tie now. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Beautiful strike. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And they separate. Choi's got the tie clinch now. Got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you gotta make sure you don't eat too many more of those. You cannot eat too many. You gotta get the elbows inside, because otherwise, he's gonna land one that's gonna shut everything down. All 
Tonight he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Big leg kick land. Back to the jab now, no good. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And they separate. Choi's strike attempt there is blocked. Got the single collar tie. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. That can't feel good. Lands with the right hand. Caught that kick there. He's throwing every part of himself into this big leg kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, big elbow. Oh, straight right. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, big shot land. Beautiful body kick. Single collar tie now. Way to control the posture of your opponent. Rotate him and then throw that big elbow around the guard. Right on the button. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Some of the best kicks in the game that you'll see right there. And they separate. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Big punch to the body. Oh, collar tie. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Ronnie well, lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. If you walk full speed to a knee to the body, it could in the night. Nice. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice leg kick land. Oh, counters with a beautiful left hand. Nice shot by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counter after blocking shots. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Just misses with a left hook there. All right, so once again, they will clinch, and we will see which fighter is able to advance their position from here. Who's going to be the first one to attempt to take down? Both of our combatants have the ability to score and secure the position. Who's going to be the one that makes the first move? All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Take a deep breath. All right, get him some water. Drink. Slow that heart rate down. All right. Here we go. All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round and very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. Nice straight punch. Come on, bro. Man, that cut is only getting worse. Canvas cleanup guy's gonna be busy. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. 
Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. Nice strike. Ooh, head kick Lance was hurt. And both guys really throwing with authority. Driving the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then lands those beautiful punches. Really has got his opponent on notice here. And there comes the separation now. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg. There's the jab, now another for good measure. Nice job there by the Korean Super Bowl. Big punch land. Ooh. Real nice body kick land. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. That one's a good Nice play. And they separate. Uppercut is good. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Choice kick to the body, that one blocked by the defense. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Nice punch, Lance. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. All right, single collar tie now. Way to mix it up. Unbelievable elbow land. Got clip with the right hand. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Try to establish that jab. Oh, that's a nice right. Just misses there with the left. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Back and forth we go here. Sneaky head kick. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing a smart thing. Oh, he has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. Nice stupid punch. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with the, the speed and the power of that jab, is something you can't really prepare for. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Right hand punch in the clinch. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. He engages in the single collar tie. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Oh, nice jab. Oh, tags him again with a flush left hand. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Oh, that straight punch is going to be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's going to avoid getting hit so many times in the face. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. You're looking great. You're winning this fight everywhere. This round, I want you to control the fight on the ground. I think you can get that.
that submission from side control position. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous Ready? two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets on. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Good stick. Lands the right hand. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left hook there. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Oh, big left hand there. That knee might have landed there. Another nice knee there. Oh, nice knees by him. Man, he does not discriminate. He is throwing to all parts of the target tonight. They talk about using all your weapons. Tonight, he is using those knees to slow down his opponent. That knee might have landed there. Once again, employing the knee. So a combination of knees here. You don't see this all the time where a fighter will, will throw multiple knees, but if it's not broken, he'll fix it. There's no takedown threat. If there was a takedown threat, he would not be throwing so many knees. But there's no threat of getting taken down, so he is just letting those knees fly. That knee might have landed there. Another nice knee there. Lands a knee there. Nice deception there to get that knee to the target. It's really good knee. Nice job of driving it right to the target. Getting it to land exactly where you want it to. Oh, these are some impactful knees he is throwing. And I guess until his opponent adjusts, might as well keep throwing them. He's going to keep going to the well. Why would he change it? His opponent has not been able to figure out these knees. And they separate. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Good punch land. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Real quick leg kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, combination of knees. That is not what he is looking for. He better raise that guard quick. He better raise that guard or he's going to fall asleep. You cannot allow someone to knee you in the head. Got the single collar tie. And he that comes knee, through with a big knee. That knee hurt him. The Korean Superboy gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Battling for hooks. Collar tie here. Big oh. knee lands there. Left hand punch in the clinch. And they set it. Oh, nice right hand. And he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. And they separate. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Nice. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get it. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh! 
The jab followed by the right hand. Well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, so a crowd-pleasing five minutes in the books. DC, take us through some of the highlights, man. Punch after punch landed right on his opponent's face. Did a great job of finding his target, locking in, and then getting, the, getting his fist to the target in that round. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not good. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Right punches there. Oh, no. Ooh, blocks the shot. Ooh, what a punch. Man. Single collar tie now. Was able to get that right hand over the top and to the target. The kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Well, you got to think he's going to enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes. And really, a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the octagon. To go home and admire your work, it doesn't take till the next morning. He's going back to him right now. And Huge elbow there. He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Can't take many of those, you better check. Just a slip there. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jabs, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Block that kick to the body. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Again, they will clinch. Nice punch, man, over the top. Oh, collar tie. Drops him with the elbow! Back and forth we go. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Takedown defense holds up. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Nice job to raise the guard and block another strike there. He doesn't want the ringside position anywhere near this octagon. He has to understand that at any moment, if this thing goes down into the eye, the referee and the commission will have to stop the fight. Great job being aware. Wow! Oh! He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Here once more, first buffer. 
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 24 seconds at round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Choi. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.